Hello, my name is Christopher. I uh, I have discovered something I call the bullshit chart. It describes maybe the most important thing that you can not be aware of. Maybe more important than your job. Uh, more important than anything, this chart. Uh, because uh, it will help you manage the what I what I think is is a financial financial crisis coming from the debt system, which is the largest of all. It's the largest market, the, the debt market. So let let me talk a bit more about this. Okay, it's about going. There's a trend, as I said in another video. It's simply a line, okay? When you do technical analysis, you always want to do it so complicated. But when it comes to this, to this um, bond, 10-year US bond, which in some way describes uh, the power of, of government, because the more power the government has, the lower can uh, will its interest rate be. The, the rate on the bonds the if the rate of, on the bonds is low which it which is was here it means that there is a lot of confidence there is so much confidence in government here in in 2020 2021 20 you can see there it was so low yield on on government bonds because it it had so much confidence we believed in government we're leaving that and that's also why I believe that we're not going to have more mask mandates or any mandates at all. Actually, that's the logical, the, the logical behavior of, of things. Uh, because what is, what was the, the mask mandate and what was these things? What, what, what was it about? Well, it was about... A kind of monetary policy reaching far beyond the central banks. The, a, a monetary policy reaching into politics and, <clears throat> and by the use of, of um, draconian, uh, dracu draconian um, rules, uh, they managed to lower consumption. Because when you have masks and all of this shit, uh, you don't want to consume and have fun. So uh, in that way, you can increase the money printing at the same time as you don't have to increase the interest rates. And this is exactly what happened. Because they moved the monetary uh, policy of, of um, control from the central banks into the the how do you say the health system and into politics you know and so the man but now we're leaving that the interest rates are going up so it isn't really rational to have it's not a rational behavior of this world okay it's very irrational if there would be more um, more um, mask stuff now I don't believe it's going to happen actually. And uh, even the, the chief economist of the IMF, she said there is actually news about this that uh, the vaccination policy was a monetary policy. This is official news said by those that are um, in power of the material material temple stuff you know uh, so they 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 admit it you know it's not it's not it's not me just saying it but it's actually how it is the it is a monetary policy and and, and it was a way to you know here down here really low interest rates still 
printed a lot of money. How, how is that possible? Well, thanks to the, thanks to the mask, thanks to the uh, limited movement, uh, isolation. It is in itself a monetary policy. The problem of if we would introduce masks here, up here, when it's higher, it's 4.2%. It would mean that um, we would have even less. It's actually, how do you say? Uh, it's deflationary. It's deflationary to, to do this kind of thing. And it would push it up even more. You know, it would be even, even more deflation, you know, in a sense. Um, I would say it's not logical. This this line here that, that I have drawn, it is, it is a line describing the uh, ver uh, bullshit versus no bullshit, you know. And um, actually, this this chart and and what it represents is more important than what the people in so-called power are are saying. You know, it's more important than their words. This is this is just um, the 10 year, year yield is is showing the confidence in in government and the confidence is is going away here you can see this increase here why did it go away well I, I, I still think it's, it's it's not the people just it's it's not the people being like wise like it's not the people feeling like oh the government is bad no i think it's about simply about math and about like no the debt is too high so the the it's not confidence anymore something like that because here it started going down uh, the the it actually started going down before you had the the pandemic the the monetary reaction came before like it preceded the actual pandemic you see so it, it's it's the, this is a telltale sign that what really matters is the 10 year yield okay that's what matters and um, yeah that's how it is simply simply how it is um, and now we're up here so um, I would say seriously I, I didn't I, I have I haven't looked at this for a very long time and I, uh, now when I see it I'm thinking like no we're not going to have any mask mask problem we're not going to have any any like um, vaccination passport or any of this crap you know it's, it's just being flushed away you know they, they failed in that or did they fail you know they it, it was used for what it had its purpose down here the purpose was to keep keep having high mo high money printing at the same time uh, as or cu currency printing at the same time as they could have low uh, low uh, uh, interest rates it was successful. Actually, if there would be a real, a real pandemic out there, something real happening, people like actually dying in masses, what what you would see would not be a low interest rate. You would have a problem in in the world, which would mean that uh, loans would not be be. Uh, uh, something that you can trust okay it would not be trustworthy to to, to have uh, in, in an environment of, 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 a, of a, a serious die off of people if a lot of people dies well loans will not be paid uh, they will fall and uh, those, those loans will fall apart and all of a sudden you have unpaid debts and you have to uh, you have to increase rates, you know, that's, that would have been, so, so uh, this, this is not a sign of, of, of a disease, what you see here, that's not what it is, it's, it's a sign of 
monetary policies. Only that. That's all. And um, as I said, we would have a really, we would move a lot around if we would have a, a real pandemic. We would move around and we would uh, have industry and, and all of this. It would just be so much, um, I'm not explain actually. It would still be high interest rates, right? How, how, how the F could they have this low interest rate during a, a real crisis, you know, a real crisis? This is just bullshit. That's the thing. We are in a bullshit territory here. That means that it's just, it's all made up, all of this. 40 years made up bullshit, you know, that's what it is. And we're living that into a real world where government is not twisting and turning in things you know this is what it represents and moving up here in interest rates especially happening quickly as i think it will eventually when when, when it starts you know having a, a 15 percent interest rate increase in in less than two years and having it steady increase it will affect the minds of people the mindset you know it is um, it, it, and after this period here it doesn't just go away there's a change in everything after this a change in mentality you see i i, I think you some of you know it's pretty advanced what i'm talking about and that means that Many people are not going to get what I talk about. You think that I'm just making this up. Some of it I am making up, but it's it's based on, on sound uh, thinking, you know. Uh, uh, bonds uh, bonds uh, and the yields are the basis of government. It is, it is the basis of the currency. And, and um, um, yeah, uh, th 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 this is it, right? And it doesn't look good right now. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, and to me, that's <clears throat> that means hope. It's hopeful, you know, because down here in the bullshit territory, everything is inverted. Good is bad, bad is good. Uh, moral is immoral. Uh, it's all inverted, you know. And then maybe we have some kind of reality when the rates goes up. We have a reality. We, we meet with reality, nature, like nature will just show uh, show us that this is not this is not uh, sustainable, you know, this is not sustainable. And uh, um, yeah, you, you can see that in, in birth, birth rates, for example, birth rates are low, it is, and that's because uh, some some animals humans included don't breed well in captivity some animals don't breed well in captivity and uh, uh, yeah and that this is so the, the researchers are trying to find how do we increase the the, fert the fer fertility rate of people how do they get more children we have to give them these this money here and money there we have to give money there you know you can't give money because you take you take money to give you know and you don't take from from the rich because it cannot be done it's it, they will just move their money they will uh, it's it's impossible you know government is all about taking money from the poor and giving to to two things okay because the poor cannot manage their own money. They cannot, uh, they, they don't have control over it. Uh, as some people are saying, they are busy working and so on. So it's always about taking from that, you know. For example, that's, that's you know, they can increase the, the price of, of petrol, of, 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 of fuel. And it will not affect the, the richest people because 
the fuel prices are the lowest uh, it's a very small part of the overall cost cost of, of a rich person you know uh, while for, for, for a less fortunate uh, when it comes to money uh, it, it's a big part of their of their monthly expenses you know so it's it, it's all about taking from, from the poor and it's all about um, it's all about uh, how do you say uh, taxing your salary taxing it's not it's all about that that's what this is what government is you know it's it's what it's about and that's why companies love it you know company big companies can have their their um, they can take huge loans you know you know and these huge loans they can finance equipment that will pay for itself with um, why, when there is inflation yeah that's what that's how, how reality have been you know and that's why the, the the future in some sense is less about big companies i believe big companies this huge companies is something that has to do with um, globalization and, and the, the big you know uh, the, the globalization of, of um, how do you say Con yeah you know what I mean okay that's all see you bye